afternoon we are at it again we're over here at chase's trap try to get in here i had some quite a few pigs showing up back over here so we're going to kind of get it prepped to get it ready in case we get a day off we might fire on them put some corn in the feeder we got a bucket of French Khmer. You think the battery low, you reckon? No. Yeah. Shake it and see if it's just not piled up on this side. No, it's, I mean, it's, it's there in the bottom. Might just turn it on and see. It. There's corn on the ground. Okay. put a bag or so in while we're here, hadn't we? Yeah. Wow. That's something I got. I got to put me a solar panel on my battery on my gate. It'll. I tried to catch the other night and it wouldn't shut. Just check it for sure. Let's see. That works pretty well. Did pretty good. Look at there. Okay. So the trap gate was. Got them closed. <laughs> I guess since I already put the French Khmer out, I'm gonna have to go to shut I'd, the gate. <laughs> yeah. I'd rather. Yeah, let me hold that. <laughs> go ahead and tell them why you, yeah. I had for this job. Yeah, my stomach's not that strong. <laughs> well, let's throw some in these deer feeders and call it good. If we caught them both of them, we put park one trailer and put a sprinkler in there with them. <laughs> they go get the other trailer and load them up. Go load those others first. We can hold them here with the chute. I think the goal this winter is to have to take the gooseneck. <laughs> catch that many. Get, get a gooseneck load of them. Have a gooseneck load of them. I think that'll be our goal this winter. Like that cow wanted that grass pretty bad. It was pushing on it pretty hard,
We have been making a little bit of progress on the barn dominium. I actually, at some point, had footage of putting this tin on over here. And then I had some kind of harebrained idea of a brain fart and erased it uh, to video another video. And I forgot that's what I had it on. So, but tell you what, 14 foot sheets and rolled on insulation is hard or slow going for this white fat boy but we have been doing pretty decent i have come up to a little snag i didn't get enough 18 foot sheets to do my other gable in so i've started on the lean to part over here and of course i wanted to get some practice before i video myself doing this <laughs> so that and i was just too lazy to go get the camera and i was in the mood to just get some work done if you know what i mean but um we have started framing out the lean-to because I had to have it framed out to do this wall right here. So it's, it's gonna look sharp. It's gonna look real sharp, I believe. Um, so yeah, there's been a little bit of work done. It, it's it's minimal. The With these temperatures in the hundreds in the middle of the day, and of course this thing's, it doesn't get any shade till about 5.30 in the afternoon or six. And uh, it's, pretty hot out here without without shade so what i've been doing is of course pumping concrete in the mornings and coming home and resting in the cool of the house for a little bit and then once 5 30 6 o'clock rolls around and i'll i'll come out here and i'll dibble dabble on this thing um we're gonna we're gonna put the last eye beam up and i'm gonna let y'all watch and go from there um and then we got to put the purlin on i got one piece of purlin to kind of stabilize those i got a little bracket out there with a ratchet strap on it kind of help keep the keep the wiggle out of it so hopefully my goal is by next weekend is to get a couple of volunteers and uh put the roof on I, I hope i'm at that point that i'm ready to put the roof on so there's a lot of work to be done but it'll be okay i can it took me oh probably three hours three yeah about three hours to put that wall on up by myself and it took me three hours to do that gable in by myself uh there's a lot of trips up and down the ladder and making sure the insulation's straight and tight and all that. There's, there's a lot of work goes into doing it like that. So let's quit talking. Let's get, uh, while we got shade here, let's get this thing put up. That wasn't too bad. Had a little custom cut up there in that corner. Had a little slag, a little little wicker bill there here and there holding it out. But we got it. We got it within range, you know. Hey, from a crack of dawn to a broken heart, we can weld it up. So 
we'll get her welded up now i don't know where will be the best <laughs> i keep saying i don't know where the, i don't know where to put y'all let's go right here i'm gonna start up here anyway you're wondering why there's no hogs this morning I gotta put my joe browns on uh man i'll show you some video here from footage i got last night they were just unsettled i never could get the ones in the the ones in the trap at all one time and you know as well as i do if you don't have them all in there ain't no sense wrestling with them because you'll make them trap smart and they won't go in again but uh yeah that's what we got into um groups came in and i had an opportunity about 7 30 this morning to catch that group that had those little ones in it but that one sow and about four of those little ones were missing and the so i don't know where we cut off at but we weren't able to get those hogs in and i wasn't gonna set the trap so, but anyway um got your sunday morning hog wow <laughs> ain't talk this morning let's start over so i got your sunday morning wild hog market report this morning uh things have not changed which i think is awesome because the prices are really really good uh 25 29 pound hog gonna bring six dollars 30 39 pound hog gonna bring nine dollars 40 49 pound hog gonna bring twelve dollars 50 59 pound hog gonna bring fourteen dollars and 60 69 pound hog gonna bring seventeen dollars now we go to the weights if a 70 to 100 pound hog is gonna bring 30 cents a pound then 101 to 170 gonna bring 40 cents a pound and 171 and up is gonna bring 45 cents a pound 
uh, I thought, which I think are, that's the best we've seen since we've been doing, been trapping hogs and selling them. Um, I, I, I can't complain, you know, as long as it's going up. And I, and I kind of think that it, it might keep on with the, uh, with the way things are nowadays. And it's great that we can get rid of those little ones. Um, I'll take six bucks a piece. Heck, we gotta do something with them, and I just don't want to knock them in the head like old David Ellis would say. Uh, but you know, they can't they can't stay. Uh, within within a year, they'll be breeding and, and, and you know multiplying again. So, and it kind of defeats the purpose of what we're doing. Anyway, other than that, um, hopefully next time we'll have a hog video. I, like I said, there's some good footage I have for y'all right there. And some pictures and stuff, which I find I like watching them anyway. Uh, much, not as much as catching them, but I like watching them. I like to kind of study them a little bit, and uh, you can kind of pick out who's the dominant one, what the pecking order is. So, it's it's just interesting. I wish I could figure out how to put a live feed on that, and then and then put that on uh, YouTube as a live feed. I may have to work on that in the future. I'm sure there's a way to do it. This week, uh, man, we have got crazy weather temperatures for us uh it's not unusual to be in the hundreds this time of year but these are these are pretty warm temperatures uh today is supposed to be 106 tomorrow monday 106 110 on tuesday 108 on wednesday where'd you go 108 on wednesday then uh, oh we get a cool front on thursday we get 101 <laughs> and 76 for the low Back to 103 Friday, 103 on Saturday, 104 on Sunday, hot and sunny on 105 on Monday, and it just goes right out the door from there. Uh, not a shot of rain either, and we're burning up on that. So hopefully, 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 hopefully we can get out of this, these two months pretty quick and uh, unharmed. So other than that, don't forget to lock the hubs in and uh, stay hydrated, stay safe, and we'll catch you on the next one. Thank you.